Hello Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to this week's reading. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. So let's get started my dear Libra for the general readings. What's in store for the Sun, Moon and Rising Librans? Well, it starts with a wonderful energy. A big, a grand protection is upon you my dear Libra. Be it at work, be it at uh, in your sentimental life be it on your health. I am seeing a lot of protective energies this week upon you, my dear Librans. And I am seeing in the first few days of this week, you are going to experience, um, you can almost experience the feeling of being protected. It can be by somebody or by an invisible force that is protecting you. And I'm also seeing that some kind of happy news can arrive for Librans at the beginning of the week. A lot of beneficial changes are going to happen at this point of time, my dear Librans, for you. And uh, thanks to your uh, wisdom and your reasoning power with people while you communicate, this is going to help you, my dear Librans, in order to achieve your goals in the first few days. This is what I'm seeing and it's a wonderful energy. So use your wisdom, use your communication skills and your reasoning also. Your, your, you know, the Libran reasoning you should use. Uh, if there are any conflicts that arise or things like that, you will be the person who will mediate and you will get things sorted out in a wonderful way. And I see it's very, very positive energy for the first few days and then we come to the midweek and once again once again I see that you are having a protection upon you my dear Librans and this protection is uh, some kind of protection that is going to neutralize whatever the challenges are going to come on your path is going to give you success and um, uh, even if you're a student my dear Librans then this is the energy of success that is announced so in the midweek i am seeing for libran students also that they can succeed in the exams and um, i i am seeing that they can do very very well so keep it up my dear libran students okay and then i'm also but that doesn't mean that you don't study and say oh she said it so i'm not going to study everything is going to be fine no there are no shortcuts to success we have to work hard all right my dear libran students and yes everybody else it applies to all of us, right? <laughs> and then I am seeing my dear Libra in the midweek. Um, even if there you have been in a clash with a loved one, for example, or you've been on, on a different uh, page than them, then I'm seeing that there will be some very positive changes that are taking place. Uh, you will make uh, kind of gestures towards your loved one in order to bring out the serenity and as I said invisible forces are protecting you this week so no matter where and what you're doing there is going to be uh, the blessings of the mothers of the universe upon you in the midweek also uh, this is what I'm seeing and uh, you are going to get the protection upon your job if you were not happy if you are not happy with a particular job situation then that is getting uh, cleared and I am seeing that there is going to be some positive change my dear Librans uh, for the coming near future this is what I'm seeing regarding your job scenario also things will uh, change in a positive way for you my dear Librans and I'm also seeing that uh, health wise also and both physically and mentally you are going to be protected in the midweek there is a lot of protection energy upon you so that doesn't mean we are going to abuse this protection energy by doing anything on papa fesa we cannot do that <laughs> right my dear librans so we have to really uh, work at our uh, you know when we get these kind of gifts uh, these kind of invisible gifts then we have to make use of them in a very constructive way uh, like for example at that time if you have an interview at that time you're going to meet somebody important so you have to know that you are shielded with some kind of protection money wise also I am seeing that things are becoming good for you there is a protection upon your finances also my dear Libra and then we go to the end of the week and the end of the week how is the end of the week here it's a beautiful energy 
you and your beloved can almost go somewhere on a holiday happiness is accompanying you my dear librans at the end of the week uh, you are attending some kind of function for some of the librans i'm seeing some kind of function here uh, with your loved ones it can be a family gathering also for some of the librans you and your loved one are taking a long weekend together you're traveling somewhere for some of you you are signing on new contract also this is what i'm seeing my dear libra you will sign on a new contract for some of the librans it will be uh, you know a marriage proposal that can come to them and for some of you you are taking your relation from engagement to the marriage level at this point of time so it is all the energy of collaboration here the collaboration of minds and collaboration of hearts also when it comes to the business um, you are bonding with somebody for a business partnership and otherwise it is going to be a love partnership also that is a marriage partnership that you are going to enter for a lifetime i hope so yes <laughs> because these days well marriages mm, they say they are made in heaven but i don't know why they break on the earth then right so <laughs> but i really hope that it would be a lifelong wonderful marriage partnership marriage that you're entering into my dear libra at the end of the week or some of you can also attend a marriage uh, this weekend this is what i am seeing my dear librans and while i am seeing all these energies uh, my dear librans for you uh, at that time i almost i feel the right word for you over here is about energy it's about healing your energy because as i'm seeing a lot of protective energies upon you so i was wondering what does the divine want to protect inside of you there is something that needs protection so uh, my dear librans you will have to do some energy healing upon yourself focus on energy healing this energy healing because we catch right in different ways we can catch we can catch when we attend something with a group of people you know uh, even if they are very nice people but know that everyone comes from a different background everyone has a different story everyone is brought up differently their conditionings are different so what is happening is that the energy also that they emit is going to be like that for some of the people they can be unfortunate and they can bring with them lot of baggage energy and when you speak to them you collect that baggage energy you become the absorbent you become the sponge of those energies and at this point my dear librans what happens is that it affects you you might even not even know sometimes we just feel like oh it was such a nice event i i attended it was such a nice wedding and then when i come back oh i have a headache or oh, i don't feel good or i'll just get moody or i'll just you know start throwing temper tantrums or things and say that's not me why am i doing this yeah because you have got some kind of negative energies know that every time it is not because of a person sometimes it is just the invisible energy that is transmitted to us that we don't even understand especially the children you know the little babies are the detectors of that whenever i say whenever a baby cries in a particular place a normally healthy and happy baby uh, cries in a particular house or a particular place you have to know here there is a problem you have to know that there is an energy problem over here otherwise the babies they are always you know they are full jo joyful they are joyful little things yeah and um, little angels i would say and then when you go to a place which is charged with heavy energies these children they suffer because they are pure inside you know and then they catch and because of that what happens is that they they will develop fever they have headaches they start crying and all these kind of things right so what is needed at this point of time is the energy healing is needed and with you also if you might have noticed all these things happening uh, then you need to heal your energies you need to heal your energies uh first of all how do you heal the energies is by first of all you have to ventilate your house first of all for your house energies okay because you live over there so you can catch also then if you come from some kind of function from outside first thing is that you know in the olden days at my granny's place i remember uh we were made to remove our shoes 
and chapels or whatever it is outside then there used to be um, you know a, a big tank of water where we and there was soap and towel kept there and we had to clean ourselves before entering the house it was done right at the beginning just now i don't know how it works but those days when i used to go to my granny's place in india it used to be like that and we had to wash ourselves and then we enter the house and then change the clothes was the first thing given i used to be like what is that you know like sometimes you know you like what is this oh what is this kind of thing you know like it's okay oh when i go to some friends place they never said anything no we can walk in and yet no no you have to do it and then why you have to do it is because you are going everywhere you're catching everything upon you on everything actually we catch all right right from your clothes to the shoes are the first <laughs> things okay so this is why they have to be removed at the door remove them all then you first of all if you can't do that you go in your bathroom you wash your feet change your clothes or take a shower when you come back so that you are clear and then sit for 5 minutes in meditation if possible okay or put some kind of you know uh, some relaxing music or something which is uh, you know of a, like uh, some people put mantras some people put prayers some people put hymns some people put the dua you know they will put like this or gurbani also they will put the uh, the phrases of that you know so put that and vibrate your whole house and everything and then you know this is how you are just taking care of your energies you are again recharging your energies we are all uh, like the mobile phones actually we need to be charged again and again because if there is no charge we can't work so the, our energy is like that we need to be recharged every time we have to plug ourselves to something which is more pure which is more that is coming from above and feel that energy and then we get our energies clean and so is with our house also if you feel no matter what that occasion was in your house uh, when many people come for a party for an event whatever it is after they go clean the house i would say clean the house you know put sometimes uh, you can do the salt treatment for your house and just clean the house and energies have to be healed my dear librans all right i have made a video on the energy healing you can if you are interested in it take a look at that also my dear librans but it is important that this uh, week and every time i would say that energy healing has to take place take care of your energies and heal them regularly so that you don't develop blocks in different organs and then they become something of a a thing that uh, requires a lot of medical treatments after we don't want that my dear librans you know the energy healing on time you know this is what is going to save you uh, from long term problems my dear librans so thank you very much for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you next week Until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye